So everyone remembers the infamous, the great Bill Clinton interruption at the Game Awards. If you don't remember, when Elden Ring won Game of the Year, some absolute genius, some mythical man out of nowhere, just, it literally, it's, it's like he just appeared out of the fog. Man just appeared from, from thin air, somehow sneaked his way behind the behind the, the development team of when they were accepting the award for, I think it was Game of the Year. He just snuck behind them, went up stage, went up to the stage with them, and then continued to, and then after the developers, the actual developers, finished their acceptance speech, he then got on the mic and started talking about his reformed Orthodox priest, Bill Clinton. Now, this man ninja himself on the stage, and I'll show, I'll show the clip real quickly, because it, it's, it's fucking iconic. It, it really is. I think if, if God of War Ragnarok came out just a few months earlier, it hey, would have Mata, a bigger chance. You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi, Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. Uh... So he's not his priest, but he's reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Now, it is by far one of the fucking greatest, like, you know, we've had some pretty cringe and some pretty, like, weird shit when it's come to, like, all these gaming conventions and gaming awards stuff. You know, gamers in general, we're not really the best when it comes to social interactions. So the fact that we got something like that was pretty fucking hilarious. And it, it was... It, it was just like, like as much as, yeah, he disrupted a little bit, he did it in a fashion, in a way where it was fucking funny. Like it was funny and he didn't really like, you know, go out of his way to like, you know, he didn't really like disturb anyone that much. It was just, you know, he kind of snuck his way in there. He didn't like push over the developers. He let them finish. And then he just went to the front. And just said, I'd like to take my reformed orthodox rabbi, Bill Clinton. <laughs> and it was fucking great. But then obviously, you know, there's dumbasses. And there's people who are going to fucking try and copy that. And do it in the fucking worst ways possible. So, Gamescon is on at the moment. Or recently just finished. I think it was this weekend. I, I don't know exactly. But Gamescon is basically what E3 used to be. This is the gaming convention where the go-ahead talk about you know fucking oh this is upcoming this is coming up this is coming up this is oh look, have a look at this game have a look at this game have a look at that it's basically all it is you know it's just a it's just a gamescom is just the way to show off new games that are coming out and one motherfucker when you know a presenter was on the stage and he was trying to introduce um i, I don't know what the fuck it was something was something a game was coming up or you know someone was about to present something and you know, he was just you know going through his motions, you know, reading off his script and all that kind of stuff. And some dickhead decides to run the stage and try to take the mic off him and s starts to ask about GTA 6 from Bill Clinton and when's Bill Clinton relationship. Have a look at it yourself. I watched it earlier. I've, I've got a little bit mad, but it's, it's fucking, it, it's so stupid. Have a look at it. Saying it, don't be jealous. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. And uh, yes, exactly. GTA 6. All right. Well, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Really disappointed. They're disappointed. That's just so disappointing. This is such a special night for so many developers. It's really disappointing to see someone uh, act that way. But we're going to move right on with the show. We've got a lot of great games to show you. Really, it's just, it just so sad to me to see something like that happen. A night we're here to celebrate games and this community and how much they mean to us. As you can see, you know, He's trying to present into Starfield. So that, that's the game that it was. I, I forgot which game it was because I watched it earlier in the day and I've, you know, when I've gone to record it, I've, I haven't watched it over. But So he's going to try and present Starfield and the dickhead just runs onto the fucking stage and says, Bill Clinton wants, wants to play GTA 6. When is GTA 6 coming out? Bro, you're not him. It, it, he, you can obviously tell by the manner of the joke that he really wanted to be the Bill Clinton Game Award guy. He wanted to be him. He wanted another like internet moment. He wanted to be that. But you're not him. That guy did it so perfectly, did it so well, and made it so fucking funny. 
and the fact that he came up with his own thing one you didn't even come up with your own shit you're just rehashing someone something that someone else came up with two gta 6 out of every fucking game like come on bro it's not even up coming you ain't getting that shit for another fucking four or five years so uh, you know the presenter himself he handled himself pretty well you know, and, and you know, the crowd obviously applauded him when he said, you know, it's just disappointing to see shit like that. Because it is. It's like, man, it, the, the dude's trying to present Starfield. Now, I don't really have much hope in Starfield. I mean, it looks like a decent game, but I'm going to wait for it to get released. That's for sure. But he's just trying to do his job. He's, you know, he's trying to present, you know, Starfield and other games and just do his fucking job. And then some dickhead just thinks he's funny. You know, probably, got his, probably went to his mate, hey. Hey bro, we paid like hundreds of dollars for these tickets to get into Gamescon and, and to get like front row seats or wherever he's fucking sitting. Yeah, we paid so much money to come to Gamescon. Watch, watch me ruin it get, and, and, and get a fine. Watch, watch this, watch me be a fuckwit. And he just goes ahead and does that. Bro, you're not funny. You're not funny. You're not him. Sit the fuck down and listen to the presenter. Let the man do his job. Honestly, if... If you did it for a YouTube video as well, if that guy's like some kind of small YouTuber and he's done it for a YouTube video, fuck man, I cannot wait till that video gets out because not because I think it was it will be funny, but because I will be fucking revisiting this shit and I'll roast the fuck out of that guy because god damn, that was fucking horrible. It was so bad. Like, it's just... Uh, <sighs> yeah. Uh, there's not much else to say, but it's pretty stupid. I feel bad for the presenter, but he handled himself well. So yeah, once again, dude, you're not him. Next time, just sit the fuck down and listen. That's it from me. Peace out.